Cohen's D is a type of effect size between two means. An effect size is a quantitative measure of the magnitude for the difference between two means. This is different to the p-value. While a p-value can inform you if an effect exists, the p-value will not reveal the size of the effect. This is what an effect size does. Cohen's D values are also known as the standardized mean difference. And since the values are standardized, it is possible to compare values between different variables and experiments. There are actually a few variants of the Cohen's D formula. Here, I will explain the two main ones, Cohen's D and Cohen's DS. Specifically, these formulas are the difference between two means divided by a pooled standard deviation. The pooled standard deviation is used since the population standard deviation is unknown. The population would be everyone in the world that is in that group. So, if your experiment was interested in people who smoke, you would need to calculate the standard deviation of your measure in every person in the world who smoked, highly unlikely. So, we will use the sample population standard deviations instead to estimate the population standard deviation. Sticking with this example, the sample population would be a group of people who smoked that are recruited in a study that resemble those in the population. Now, let's go over the two Cohen's D equations. For the original Cohen's D formula, this is used when there are two groups of equal sizes, so the n for each group is not required. Cohen's D equals the mean of one group minus the mean of the other group divided by the pooled standard deviation. And in this case, the pooled standard deviation can be calculated as follows. Standard deviation of the first group squared plus the standard deviation of the second group squared divided by two, and you take the square root of that. Now, let's use it in an example. Say we want to calculate the Cohen's D between two groups, males and females. Specifically, a certain protein was quantified in the blood of the two groups. Females had a mean value of 1.062 and a standard deviation of 0.339, and males had a mean value of 0.528 with a standard deviation of 0.382. Let's firstly calculate the pooled standard deviation. So the pooled standard deviation would be 0.339 squared plus 0.382 squared divided by two, and then you take the square root of that number. Doing so gives a pooled standard deviation value of 0.361. We can now put this pooled standard deviation value into the overall Cohen's D equation along with the two group means. So Cohen's D equals 1.062 minus 0.528 divided by 0.361. Plugging all of that into a calculator will give a D value of 1.479. I will discuss how to interpret the Cohen's D values shortly. Now, what about if the groups had unequal group sizes? This is where a variant of the original Cohen's D equation comes in handy, and this variant is termed Cohen's DS. If we take the same example as before, but this time we have information on the group sizes, so there were 13 males and 16 females. This time, the calculation for the pooled standard deviation is slightly different. So the pooled standard deviation equals the group size of the first group, minus one, multiplied by the standard deviation of that group squared, plus the group size of the second group, minus one, multiplied by the standard deviation of that second group squared. Divide all of that by the group size of the first group plus that of the second group minus two. And finally, you take the square root of everything. So by entering the data we now have, we can calculate the pooled standard deviation as follows. This then gives a pooled standard deviation of 0 0.359. Again, Putting this back into the Cohen's D formula now gives a value of 1.489. But 
what does a d value of 1.489 actually mean? Simply, you can think of Cohen's d values as the number of standard deviations between the two groups. So, a value of 1 indicates that the means of the two groups differ by one standard deviation. In the example, the Cohen's d value was 1.489, meaning that the concentrations of the protein in the males and females differed by 1.489 standard deviations. But how do you know how large an effect size this is? Cohen himself interpreted the d values into three subgroups. However, these values are just general interpretations and shouldn't be used rigidly. These groups are small, where d equals 0.2 to 0.5. There's medium, where d equals 0.5 to 0.8. And then there's large, where d is anything over 0.8. To put into perspective, Cohen stated that small effect sizes are generally considered too small to be differentiated by the naked eye. An example of a small effect size is the difference in height between 15 and 16 year old girls. Medium effect sizes are just large enough to be seen by the naked eye. Elaborating on this, Cohen explained that the difference in height between 14 and 18 year old girls would be calculated as a medium effect size. Large effect sizes are really obvious differences between groups. Keeping in alignment with Cohen's examples, he described this size to be observed when comparing 13 and 18 year old girl heights. So now you know that Cohen's D is a type of an effect size between two means. And there are many variants of the Cohen's D formula. Mainly, they differ in how the pooled standard deviation is calculated. And simply, Cohen's D values are the number of standard deviations between the two groups. And finally, Cohen's D values can be generally split into three groups. Small effect sizes where D equals 0.2 to 0.5 medium effect sizes where d equals 0.5 to 0.8 and large effect sizes where d is greater than 0.8. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.